not quite sure where I should start. I think... When I think about you, I, uh... I don't know. God, it was so much easier then. The world wasn't so upside down. I felt like my biggest problem was making it to an 8 o'clock movie. Who knew how fast we'd all miss it? It was gone before we could blink. And I guess we're all left wondering where the golden days had gone. Sign so many autographs. All right, look, if you turn yourselves in, I might throw in a collectible item. Courtesy of yours, truly. Going once, going twice. All right, well, suit yourselves. <laughs> Shocker suit. That's what you're calling. Yeah. Wow. Did you come up with that yourself? <laughs> Real clever, buddy. Do dinner. There's always karaoke night. Oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's yeah, that's real, real funny. Do you ever stop talking? Okay, no karaoke. I didn't want you there anyway. Enough with the karaoke. As soon as you stop hiding, I'm gonna make sure nobody has to listen to you ever again. <laughs> oh sure. I've actually got some stand-up shows this week, but uh, you're not invited.
Maybe it wasn't as simple as I remember it. I still had my fair share of problems, no denying that. But I think the difference then is that I had someone waiting for me. Someone to love. Guys, Gwen, I, I tried to get her on time. I, I really did. But your bike was stolen? You're stuck at the bugle? You're studying late? Something like that, Peter? Something like that. It's fine. The movie wasn't that great anyway. Told the guys you'd be late. Thanks, Harry. How you been, buddy? Uh, couldn't be better. Hey, what do you think of the Fu Manchu, huh? Uh, there's nothing there. It's still growing in. Just. Just give it some time. He's been growing it out for two weeks. Okay. No, it has not been two weeks. It's <laughs> not been two weeks. Peter, guess who we saw in the theater today? Flash Thompson and Liz Allen. Never gonna last. No, no. In a shoe game? Absolutely embarrassing. MJ, I, I have a pair just like this. Then now it's hard. Uh, hey, what do you guys say we go grab some dinner? I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna head home. It's getting a little late. Well, hey, wait a minute. It's barely too late. I don't know. No, come on. I'll pay for you guys. Completely on me. Harry. I know the perfect place, too. I, I just... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Best sandwiches in New York. <sighs> okay. That's more like it. I had you to love, Gwen. And we had MJ and Harry. And we all had each other. Four of us had that rare bond you only get to experience and see every so often. Maybe once or twice in a lifetime. I'll never get to hear the sound of their laughter with yours ever again. I wish we had more time together. All of us. I felt like it would never end until you. Hey there, Blondie. Hey there, superstar. Harry! Yeah? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. The ring? I told you. Stay sharp. Don't forget the knee. You know the drill. No pressure? No pressure. Thanks, Harry. Seriously, don't mention that. Harry, are you coming? Yeah, just a sec. Don't screw this up. So, uh, what movie did you guys see? Oh, it was just some cheesy romance. Did you like it? It was fine. Just fine? Look, I'm sorry I didn't make it tonight. And, right. and I'm sorry I have to keep on saying I'm sorry. You know how it is, with May and, and the Bugle. 
I'm really trying to be better. I know you are. Let me make it up to you. <laughs> no, we're gonna be doing that. We could go up to this weekend. Go see the lakes. Oh. Go to that uh, fancy spot you like. I could have spent our entire lives without getting tired of hearing your voice. The way you understood things, the way you saw people, your passions, your interests, it was, you were perfect. And I wish I told you that more often. Because when I look back to that night, I just wish we'd held on to it a little longer. So a trip upstate, what's the occasion? Uh, no reason. I just, just to get away from everything. Okay. Wait, Gwen. There is a reason. moment how it is with you in front of me completely perfect and beautiful I love you Peter Parker I love you by six We never did get to take that trip, did we, Gwen?
morning, New York City. We are coming on the air with some rather unfortunate news. To report that businessman and former head of Oscorp, Norman Osborne, has been confirmed dead in an abandoned warehouse near Breezy Point, New York. According to the autopsy report, it occurred around 5 a.m. this morning. Sources say they saw Spider-Man fleeing the vicinity, leaving Osborne dead on the scene with the blade wounds and several scars. The NYPD is working closely with J. Jonah Jameson, publisher of the Daily Bugle, to hold Spider-Man accountable for his trail of suspected killings. Following the deaths of Captain George Stacy, his daughter Gwen Stacy, and now the most recent victim, Norman Osborne. His son, Harry Osborne, an heir to the Oscorp Empire, has gone missing. He was last seen several weeks ago. Out of concern that he may be the wall crow's next victim. It seems that Jameson may have been right all along. I had a feeling that you might be here. Your Aunt May called. And Jonah. And Robbie. What are you doing here? I'm asking you why you're here. What do you want? I'm worried about you, Peter. You're worried about me? Yes. I'm trying to recall when I've ever seen you worry about anything. Okay. None of you get it. I don't want to talk to anyone. Peter, don't get mad at me for trying to help. You're not trying to help. Yes, I know I better am. than most. You never cared about that. Never. Well. So get to the point. Why are you here? Because everything's a mess, Peter. I haven't seen you in weeks. Harry is gone. Nobody wants to go out with me anymore. What, so you came to bug me about it? No. I, I came by to see if you wanted to go to a party or something. Party? To clear your mind. You're a joke. What? I knew you couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle what? Not being the center of attention just for a second. The life of the party loses her spotlight and doesn't know what to do with herself. That's not true. It is true. You're so unaware of yourself, it's not even funny. You don't care about people like me and Gwen. She didn't live life like it was a constant game. Maybe if you took a second to think, you could have learned a thing or two from her. So leave. I hate to ruin your fun. Take this. It's your Spider-Man. 
Robbie, he was wondering if you could give it to him. He's retired. Retired? He can't hurt anyone else. You give this to him. And you tell him that he is not responsible for what happened. And I think that you both know that. Harry. Harry. What is this? It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm fine. Is that it? You vanished for weeks. Leave me to pay rent on my own, keep everyone worried, and all you can say is I'm fine. Where have you even been? I told you, it doesn't matter. Harry, can you just take a second to listen? It's nothing you have to worry about. I don't have to worry about... You abandoned everyone. Please, you're one to talk about abandoning people. It has nothing to do with this. It's about Gwen. Do you realize that? She just died. I know. Then where were you? Why didn't you show up? Listen to me, she had a funeral. Everyone was there, May, Liz. Flash, Jonah, everyone. Yeah, here you are, running around, doing whatever you want, hiding. My father just died! I thought you of all people would be able to understand that. Sorry, I didn't... Look, you weren't the only person who lost something that day. But you can't admit that because you're too selfish to think about anyone else. Nothing is ever a problem until it affects you. Harry, I haven't seen you in weeks. And the first time I do, you're passed out on the couch acting like everything's fine. Look, I get that your dad's Stop. Died. I'm not trying to just, just stop. You can't just stop. I thought we could get past our differences and I thought we understood each other, but we don't. I don't owe you anything. I give you this place to stay. I give you money when you need it. And I help you send your failed proposals, you coward.
Why do you stay here? Why don't you just leave? Harry, wait. Sorry. Just keep pushing people away. See where it takes you.
this for me? No way.
down, Dalvin! This isn't about her, it's about you and me! Right? It's between you and me, it always has been. Nobody has to get hurt!
Hey there, Blondie. Hey there, Superstar. How'd your audition go? They've got no idea who they're missing out on. No. No, they really don't. Hey, look, I know that you were thinking about London. Are you still planning on studying abroad? No. I don't know. At least not before I get the chance to see you on the big screen. You've got time. I think it'll be a while before you see me up there. MJ, I've got nothing but time. I just don't know how many more almost I can take. You just have to wait for one more yes. You are gonna be up there, and when you do, I'm gonna be in the front row. Then I'll see you in London. I guess you will. You know, last I checked, the party's actually inside. Flash. Thought you quit smoking. Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. I, uh, I can leave you alone if you want. I, I didn't mean to bother you. It's fine. So, uh, where's Harry and Peter? Is everything okay? Everything's fine. MJ, come on, don't act like I haven't seen that look before. What look? That look. Look you'd always try to cover. If I remember correctly, it usually had something to do with Peter. You know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I was always a little bit jealous of him. Mm. He was always somehow getting looks from Gwen, Liz, or you. 
I know you two are close now. Yeah. He kind of went off on me today. I'm sorry. I doubt he meant anything he said. How do you know that? You know, uh, I used to hate him. I think he hated me too, back in high school. But even after everything I did to him, you know, all the pranks, the humiliation, whatever. He was still a friend to me when I needed him to be. I'll never forget the first time he actually stood up for himself. <laughs> It was early sophomore year, and, well, for a guy his size, he could throw a solid punch. I guess after that, I sort of gained some respect for him, or something like that. Peter helped me out during a difficult time in my life. You know, I didn't exactly have a picture-perfect home life. My dad wasn't around much, and when he was, he was around. Uh, anyways, when things got bad, Peter and his aunt helped me out a lot. Probably more than they should have. He even let me stay with them for a few weeks. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I didn't really want people to know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Look, Gwen's death hit everyone hard, and I'm sure it hit Peter the hardest, and... <sighs> Look, MJ, we're not best friends, and I'm not gonna pretend like we are, and I don't know what Peter's going through or what you're going through. But you can't do it alone. Pete's a good guy. He'll come around. He always does. Ash. Thank you. So, you and Liz. Uh, so you saw us? Yeah. Yeah, well, she's not exactly my number one fan right now. The whole military thing doesn't really sit right with her. Isn't your uh, going away party in a couple weeks? Sure is. And I hope to see you there with Harry and Peter. No promises. I haven't seen Harry in weeks. I don't even know if he's in the city. You didn't know? No, what? Osborne's back in town. I saw him earlier this week. Really? Yeah. So anyways, if you see him, tell him I'd like to see him at the party. Flash. It was good seeing you. Good seeing you too, MJ. And Spider-Man says, anyone can win a fight when the odds are easy. He gains his strength, plants himself down, and he lifts until he's free from the rubble. With a flip of a kick and a little bit of webbing, Spider-Man. I hope I'm not interrupting. Hi. 
Hi, Tim. Nice to meet you. I'm Spider-Man. Tim, honey, why don't you go and show Spider-Man your comic book collection? We, we didn't think the Daily Bugle would get you the letter. I'm, I'm friends with one of their photographers. Well, I mean, we can't, can't thank you enough. Um, I'm gonna get uh, some coffee. Can I get you anything? No, I'm okay. Um, if you guys, if he needs anything, just, just call for me, okay? Collected all of this? It's every newspaper that the Daily Bugle ever wrote about you. Well, almost. I crossed off all the bad stuff they said. How did you? How did you get all of these? I collect everything about you. Look. I even have some of the web things from your fights with the bad guys. Do you know how it works? <laughs> when I was a little older than you, I designed these so I could move around the city faster. I made this special web fluid. I would put it into these cartridges. And when it's ready, you pull down on this trigger and it shoots a web. Here, you try. You made that yourself? Sure did. After, you know, a lot of trial and error. Wait, stay here, I need to show you more. I think this one is my favorite. Which web should Wait, I use actually, today? not that one. Uh, I think it's two. Both of these are my favorite, but also. Uh, no, I've never actually worn that before. You haven't? Nope. Huh. Well, this one I got at the store. I like this a lot because you look like a ninja with your web bow staff and stuff. This one I got at um, the game store. Uh, the game that plays to this, I love. And this I saw from a movie. I don't know why your suit is Tim, black and red in this. Uh, th this is great and all. Uh, why not Captain America? Or, or Thor? Wh what do you mean? Why me? Uh, oh, they're cool and all, but... Is this you? Yeah, it was a project for school. We had to draw our hero, but I didn't really know what you looked like. Why don't you, uh... Why don't you show me how this game works? Okay. So, how old are you anyway? 
I'm 10, but I'm turning up. My birthday's in August. Nice. Uh, same month as me. Really? Yep. These days, I tend to forget it. So this is me, huh? Yeah. This is so you can jump. This is so you can move. This is so you can swing. And this is so you can fight people. Wow. I'm impressed. Here, you try. OK. Spider-Man? Yeah, Tim. What happened to the girl on the bridge? not true, right? They're lying. The Beagle always lies about you. Tim. It's my fault. She's gone because of me. A lot of people are now, and I can't do anything about it. No matter how hard I try, I can't do this. Uh, look, I'm not the hero that you think I am. And in this, all of this, it's, it's not me. But you tried to save her. I saw the videos. The Beagle's making up stories like they always do. It's not the same. There's more to it that you wouldn't understand. What about these stories? When you stopped the whole Sinister Six by yourself? Or you stopped the whole Brooklyn Bridge Tim, from collapse? These stories. They're just that. Stories. Written by people that I've never even met before. I just think you're looking at me like someone that I'm not. I don't understand. I know. You're just a kid.
Um, I think I might be able to help you understand it uh, a little better. Sit down. I got my powers from an accident. Five years ago. It could have happened to anyone. I'm not special. A spider was trapped in a beam of radiation. I only had a minute left to live. And I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. It could have been different. If I'd been there a second later, if it died just a second earlier, I didn't ask for any of this to happen. But I took the cards I was dealt and made a choice. I was only looking out for number one, myself. I created Spider-Man and exploited it for money, for fame. I had what no one else in the planet had. And it felt good. I didn't understand what these powers meant. What they were supposed to be. Those choices. Those moments. They put us on a path for better or worse. I wanted revenge. Same warehouse and made it clear. A 
the cycle never ends. There isn't a day that goes by where I'm not reminded of it. And it all started with this costume. It was the greatest mistake of my life. Now everyone else is paying for it. But you're a hero. You saved all those people. And how many others suffered because of it? What's this? It's a history scrapbook about you. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Wait, Spider-Man! Spider-Man, you can! I saw Flash last night. He asked about you. We were right about him and Liz. Where did you go? It doesn't matter, MJ. I just want to understand. You want it? You shouldn't have stopped me. For what? Harry, you have to talk to me. I can't help you if you help can't. me. Why do you care so much? It's not worth it. I know you're still taking the pills. Why do you keep hurting yourself? Here, you have to tell me you what's going need on. To stop. No. I know I was at that cemetery. Because I had nowhere else to go. Not after Tantai, not after Gwen. You know, Pete was going to propose to her. He had a ring and everything. I was there with him when he got it. I helped him as much as I could. second there, I really thought I could make him proud. I was living up to my name for once, but the second I start to feel some sort of importance he's taken from me. I don't know, maybe if I, maybe if I had stayed, things would have been different, but I ran. And now I'm stuck with these. They're all I have left. I know that they're destroying me. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. Harry. What am I supposed to do? Harry, please. 
never know what it's like to feel lost and alone. Harry, I've lived my whole life trying to be someone else. Trying to be the girl that everyone knew. You don't think I came back from this party sobbing? You don't think I went to sleep every night the same scared girl I've always been? You're convinced that you're the only one hiding. But I'm right here with you. I understand, Harry. There's more to me than people know. But it doesn't matter. Because I have you. And Peter. And we had a Gwen. I don't know if you'll remember this. It feels so distant. It was a night in the summer, for the July weekend. It was raining, and the four of us were there. We were all waiting to watch the fireworks go off. But it was raining so hard, we didn't know if they ever would. Everyone had their own umbrellas, except for Peter and Gwen. They were under just one. And it was a small umbrella, too. So they had to sit close to each other. It was one of their first dates as a couple. One of the first times just the four of us were all together. We waited and waited for the fireworks. Eventually, we all wanted to leave. Except for you. You convinced us to stay just a little longer. And sure enough, the sky lit up with fireworks. And the night wasn't the same after that. Everyone became just a little bit brighter. We all got just a little bit closer. And you made it one of the most memorable nights of our lives. Go. I really shouldn't be here. Wait, what happened? Look, whoever he thinks I am, I'm not. You've seen the headlines. Figure it out. The Daily Bugle? That's why you're giving up? It's about the truth. It isn't fair that your son should look up to someone who isn't half the hero that what he thinks they are. What did you say to him? I told him what he needed to hear. He's better off. Just don't get it, do you? I don't know. That little boy has looked up to you his entire life. He has watched you save thousands of people. He's read every bugle slander and it didn't matter because you were his hero. That's what he thinks. So it doesn't matter what you think about yourself because he deserves somebody to believe in. He doesn't have anything else. So
Hey, buddy. Uh, about what I said. I was wrong. After I told you about what happened, I... I wasn't thinking straight. I'm sorry. So, you wanted to show me the scrapbook? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, uh... Wait, I have to show you from the beginning. Okay. Are you ready? Well, here's from the first time you fought Vulture on the water tank. This does take me back. And the first time you fought Sandman at Midtown High, you had to flip him over instead of punching him. That's right. I had to, so I wouldn't break my hand. Oh, and here's when you first fought Electro. Right, right, with the rubber gloves. And Doc Ock, and Rhino, and Lizard, and Scorpion, and Mysterio. Oh, oh, here's when you had to lift that building up to save all those people when you first fought the Sinister Six. Wow. And when you saved the bridge from the Rhino, and when you stopped Vulture from destroying the Daily Bugle Bridge. karaoke night. Guys, Gwen, I, I tried to get her on time. I, I really did. But your bike was stolen, you stuck at the bugle, you were studying me. Told the guys he'd be late. Thanks, Harry. How you been, buddy? Couldn't be better. Peter, guess who we saw on the Peter Twitter? Flash talks and Liz Allen. You say shark? Don't forget the name. You know the drill.
If you ever need anything, I'm gonna call away. Wait, um, Spider-Man? Yeah, Tim? Well, I was just wondering if you could do one last thing for me. Anything. What is it? Would you tell me who you really are? I've never shown anyone my true face before. If any of my enemies find out who I am, people I love get hurt. Can I trust you? and all the Daily Bugle newspapers. Yeah. Yeah, I am. This mask. It means something to a lot of people. You reminded me of that today. You have to go. I'm scared. Tim. I don't know the future. It's not one of my powers. What I do know is that you're brave. Braver than I've ever been. Than I ever could be. Braver when you fought Sandman and Rhino on the Daily Bugle building. Yeah. Braver than that, too. Thank you, Peter. Good night, Tim. Wait, Peter. Will Spider-Man be back? I'm always in the neighborhood. I wish we could have taken that trip. I wish I could hold you one more time. Just for a second. And I wish I would have proposed. God, why didn't I propose? I'm sorry for failing. I'm sorry for not saving you. I was supposed to protect you.
I, um, I met this really cool kid. His name is, his name was Tim. And for some reason, I told him who I am. He didn't have a lot of time. When, after you died, I was ready to quit forever. And I've always been ready to hang up the costume, but it was different this time. It felt like I had no one to live for. It was selfish. But Tim helped me see a little more clearly. He asked about you, actually. You would have liked him. He was a good kid. I'm not ready to love again. Not sure if I'll ever be. But I think, I think I'm ready to try and live again. It's what you would have wanted. It's what Ben and your father would have wanted too. This is bigger than me. And I will always be Spider-Man. Not because I want to, but because I have to. Because out there, there are people just like Tim. And they need to believe in good. I don't think I'll ever get over you. Or your death. I don't want you to think this, this tape is me trying to forget you either. I'll never forget you. Don't think of this as a goodbye tape. It's more of a checking in tape. So here I am. Checking in to say hi. And I miss you. I miss you, Gwen. Jay, how much is you here? Not much. Just the end. Hey, Pete. Harry. Can I get you guys anything? Water or coffee? I, I think we're okay. Listen. But we all know I'm not good at these kinds of things. You know, I remember my first day at ESU. My dad stopped the limo right up front. He turned to me and said, you better be worth all this. All my life I had these big dreams of adding to his legacy dreams of doing these worthwhile things together, just us, father and son. And I tried, you know. I wanted to make him proud more than anything. But there I was, barely maintaining a C average, getting hooked on pills. And I met you, this guy who didn't even have to dream because he already had it all. But that's besides the point. 
point is, you're my best friend. You've always been there for me. And I went and ran off when I should have been there for you. Last summer. It's the night you asked went out for the first time. She wouldn't stop talking about it with everyone. Lightened up every time your name was mentioned. She's, she said she'd only date me if uh, I got her the plush toy from the carnival. <laughs> I remember, you were trying at it for at least half an hour. I thought that pushing people away would fix things. But an end to it all. And in the process, I said a lot of things that I didn't mean. We need each other. Living alone isn't living. If it was, then. What would this mean? You two are my best friends. The only ones who understand. I can't lose you too. Gotta keep moving on. For her. For everyone. This is over. Pete, MJ mentioned something about Flash's going away party. I, uh, I, I totally forgot about that. It's 6.30 tomorrow night, if you think you can make it. I have to go take care of something at Oscorp. You need a ride home? No, you go ahead. I'll be there in a sec. Here. Sorry about your dad. Six thirty tomorrow. I'll be there. You all right, Tiger? Uh, yeah, you know I didn't mean what I said at the, at the cemetery. No. It was a wake-up call. And I needed it. No, but I shouldn't have said it. I didn't realize until now. I really know you. What you're dealing with. Stop. Hey, we all lost something, not just me, and not just Harry, all of us. But I think we gained something too. works out like that. And I get some sleep. I'll try. Will you 
do me a favor, Peter? Say hello for me. And tell Gwen that I miss her too. Parker's gonna be here? He said he'd be here. Uh, you know him, classically late. Mm. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Cool, cool. Well, uh, drinks are in the back, all on me. And uh, come on, there's a couple people I wanna introduce you guys to. 